You don't know that? Damn, that was a nice shot. Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Blue Lock season one, yeah, episode three, Suckers Zero. Um, last episode, uh, Kira got eliminated. Um, they're about to go to, they're about to do this, uh, team one-on-one, -on -one, not one-on-one, -on -one, like team against team. Team Z is about to face team X, I believe, in this first selection, uh, which, in which the first two teams are going to be passing, moving on, basically. Um, they also, also introduced this character that's a midfielder, the, 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 one of the world's top 11 hero or something and at first he didn't want to have anything to do with the japan team but then after he saw the conference where they were introducing the blue lock experiment and everything he's like oh now i'm interested so that's where we ended and uh, well we ended with the team about to face each other so yeah well yeah so they basically ended with the them about to face each other so before we get into this episode if you guys have my reaction please give it a thumbs up please subscribe and please consider supporting my patreon at patreon.com slash feelingmini then i'll start this episode and here we go okay guys in case the reaction gets blocked and i had to cut out the reaction itself you can just look in the pinned comment in the comment section where for the link to the reaction highlight itself so you can just click on it watch it and then you just come back for my review I was trying to see who's going to play which one. Of course you do. Oh, okay. See, this is what I'm talking about. I didn't... ランキング勝負いさぎ中心で勝てんのかよ。文句言うないかぐり。俺の人生を変えるブルーロックの戦いがいよいよ始まる。The guy with the red eyes probably, I don't know. I feel like he's probably the stronger one out of all of them. I might be wrong. But usually when uh, anime focus on a particular character, it feels like, especially when it's this kind of anime, it feels like, you know, yeah, look look out for this person. Yeah, like I was saying, like he, when he was explaining the rules and everything, I'm like, I didn't get it because I didn't have time to fully process everything that he said. And then he moved on to something else. So uh, it's going to be tough. This is going to be tough on me. There you go. Sao chan? Or oh, Sai chan? Well, oh, either way. Soccer zero. So the Z Team X Team Z King Kung. Are you sure? <laughs> what the So Nani up in the light year? Each man ten to the cutsuru da.俺は俺のやり方でやるぜ。分かってんじゃねえか、ライチ。何やってんだ。俺も混ぜろ。ちょっと。クリーダリンドウェニング。シェ、ラッキー。いや。お前こそよそ見してんじゃねえよ。もう
spherical servant. Okay. It's not just that, they also said that the first two teams, top two teams, will pass. <sighs> this is that what I just said. He's gonna pass the ball. <laughs> Lemon. Okay. あいつらはチームになれてるのに。お前が俺たちはバラバラのままだ。こんなの勝てるわけがない。あいつのせいだ。バローのゴールがあいつらをチームにしたんだ。あのお団子サッカーを how much time has passed? Wah。ゴール前で会おう。Okay, okay. Is he gonna let you? No, he's. Uh, I feel the other two is coming. Baro or whatever. Yep. His voice sounds familiar to me. Now they're now they're playing as a team. Are they playing as a team? Isn't the goal to see? You passed. That's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. You don't know that. Damn, that was a nice shot. なんで国神にパスタしてんだよ。あいつより俺の方が震えだったのか。バカなのか。シュートを好きでパスタってやつがいんのかよ。ちょちょちょ。やめろライチ。1点取っただろ。ああ。こういうつもりでここに来たんだ
あれ、すごかった。今日の。そいつらみんな優勝なんかしてないし。おお。チームは<笑> ダメ<笑> アタイラレタヤクアリオマットウスルダケデワカテナイオニデキティ。リカジケンチェンジャニタンウォーナノワ。ジンガセカイニホコレルポジション。それはミッドフィルダーとサイドバックだ。ホワザチームでミオコニシ
when I saw, I'm like, I feel like this guy is going to be important, right? And yes, he was. <laughs> when he called the ball, what, his ser something servant, I don't know. He's the king of the court, on the court, of the field, the court, field, I don't know. And, you know, he just, he basically got the ball away from probably Zaggy or somebody, I don't know who he was, got the ball from them, just like, psh, 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 went through everybody. I think he called, a, he did a move, what did he call it, nutmeg? I don't feel like going back in and look, looking at it. But Barrow was like, psh, 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 and then he just went and scored. And from that scoring, that sort of like galvanized everybody else because they found that, okay, with him scoring, it just gave the others this confidence. Okay, if we pass the ball to him, then he's going to score, you know. And with him scoring for us, then we're going to win. So they sort of like started to organize themselves and becoming like a team, you know, a proper team. And then you have the others just like still fighting among themselves. And I'm like, people, that's why when Ego was in the first episode was like, you know, soccer is not a team sport and i'm like huh it did not make any kind of sense to me you know so these guys started fighting as a as a team and then you have team z that's just like fighting for themselves basically only isagi and uh um bachelor look like they were gonna work together like all those two were the only ones that were working together. Everybody else was just like, me, 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 me. Especially, I believe his name was Raichi. He was also like, uh, just wanted to hug the ball. And I don't know, but it just, I was just looking at them. I'm like, what, what, what are you guys doing? Like, what are you doing? And because they were acting like that, they scored five goals against them. And Sam was running it out. And then you have Isagi, they're just basically like trying to comprehend what this um, soccer from zero thing meant. And then he's like, oh, the way we were playing, like going at each other like that, that's basically zero. But then when Ambaro like, scored, it became a one. And then the team started playing, the team started to form around that one. So that's what we need to do. And then... Um, but was it Bachira that said that they, they can score a goal with the, just them two or something? I don't quite remember. But they were like, yeah, we have to. But we can't just lose. We can't just be like, lose the game 5-0, you know. So they're like, yeah, we have to at least score one point. And I feel like with the fact that doing them two took the game sort of like seriously and were playing against each other and... All of that the others noticed and that's why they also started running after um after them and then you i believe you had what was his name i'm about to say rengoku but i don't think that was his name or oh, renske <laughs> kunigami you had kunigami and then you have rachi rachi's like pass the ball kunigami is also like pass the ball and you had um isagi there you know, at first he was going to score, right? But then I'm like, oh, Baro? Yeah. I'm like, Baro's going to show up in front of you, you know? And yes, he was. And it's like he was facing him. And then he's like, just sort of like, okay, what should I do? What should I do? And then he sort of like involuntarily, <laughs> because he's like, he didn't do it consciously. He passed the ball to um, Kunigami, right? That's his name, Kunigami. Yeah, he passed the ball to Kunigami and Kunigami. Oh, that was a beautiful shot. Kunigami scored. And they, you know, of course, they're not going to win the match, but at least they scored that one point. And then you have Rachi there being pissed off because he's like, why did you pass the ball to Kunigami and not to me? And I'm like, you know, the way that I saw things play out, I felt like Isagi sort of like analyzed everything in that one instant and he felt inside of himself that Kunigami was going to have the best chance at scoring. That's how I felt like 
he did. So then he passed the ball to him and then scored. And then you have Barrow there being like, you know, basically he's worthless as a, a striker shouldn't be nervous in front of the goal or something. I don't quite remember what he said, but basically he's not worthy to be there to be a striker or something or under like that. And I'm like, maybe his thing is to be not a striker but a midfielder because i'm just like it's not like i know the role of the midfielder or anything but i'm just thinking back to last episode's um sai itoshi who's a midfielder and he's talking about he needs to find someone that can basically receive his pass or passes and whatnot and the fact that um Isagi here sort of like analyzed everything and then he's like, okay, this one is Kunigami is the best position to score and why not? And then he passed the ball to him. I feel like he's more, yes, he can score and why not? But I feel like he's more someone that can, what, what is the term? This, I think there's a position in basketball that's like, Like basically, he's sort of like the control tower of the field. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, like the uh, in, in basketball, the role that I'm thinking about in basketball is point guard. Because I had to Google it and whatnot. They'll say that it's, it's, he, the point guard is instrumental in controlling the ball, initiating the offense, and setting up plays. I feel like that's what Isagi did in this particular match. Like at the end there, he's sort of like saw what was happening and he figured okay pass the ball to him even though he was unconsciously he did that unconsciously but that's what i felt like in that particular moment i might be wrong but I, th th that's just what jumped out at me that's that's what i got out of that that he's um probably a midfielder if a midfielder is someone that passes the ball. I don't know, but whatever. Um, especially at one point in the episode, when they were back in the local room and they were just sort of like going through what they did and um, that, that that one do nah, no. What was this in the beginning? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna, did I even write it down? I don't know. But the one guy that sort of like, guys shut up and told them about the positions that they were in and, you know, if they lose one more match, then all of that. And then Isagi started speaking up about the zero to one thing. And then Ego showed up on the screen and he's like, uh, you you sort of like have it. And then he gave him even more information. And I believe he said that at, at one point that meal feeders and uh, something else were, were the most important roles or something or other like that. And that's why I'm like, you know. That's why when I said that, I'm like, yeah, see, Isagi, I feel like you might be a better midfielder than scorer or something or other like that. I don't know. But then it's not like I know my soccer. So <laughs> I might maybe just talking out of nowhere. But yeah. Um so what what else? Uh-huh. I need to look it up. When I heard Barrow speak, I'm like, his voice sounded familiar. But then I'm like, I feel like I recognize the voice. His voice sounds like, um, why am I forgetting his? <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen's, um, look, it, uh, Yuji, Yuji's like the, the curse that's inside of him. Ryomen Sukuna. I felt like the voice sounded like Sukuna to me. So I'm going to look it up. Romeo Sukuna's voice actor. Uh, Junichi Suwabe. Okay, let me see what else he did. Did he voice any character in... Uh... Oh, he's also, he's also, he also voiced Grim Joe Jagger Jacket. See, I was right. It is his voice. <laughs> he's the one that voiced him. Okay. Uh, at least I, I'm glad I figured that out. Like I heard the voice. I'm like, wait, I know this voice. Sukuna. Yeah, it's him. Um, what else happened this episode? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I don't remember. I probably missed some things, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And if you like this reaction, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And if you want to see my reaction to the next episode, episode four, the link is going to be in the pinned comment. So just click on it and check it out. And I'll see you next time. Bye. With two suits, two tokens in hand. I got no respect because I'm the new man. Come on, shovel. Shoes full of sand. Check out the time, the name.